William Ruto holds a strategic talk with ODM Nyanza Member of Parliament at State House. Raila Odinga is playing a very smart and a critical game while he is leading a sustained onslaught on the so-called government he has tactically released law governors, member of parliaments, MCS, and professionals to scheme whatever they can quickly form from the disparate, illegitimate, and panically vifaranga your computer. I want to say that is a smart and very good politics when it comes to Raila Odinga. Now, as we speak now, William Ruto has come out to post in his Facebook timeline saying this leaders must join hands, foster coexistence, and work together in confronting the challenges facing our country. They must endeavor to lead by example and serve the interest of the people. This is a sure route to more united and developed Kenya. At State House, Nairobi held a consultative meeting with the MCs from Nyanza following a recent visit to the region. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say this. I have seen many people condemning this governor's meeting Raila Odinga, this member of parliament meeting Raila Odinga, this MCS, and professions that has been believed that are supporters of Azimio Moja at large, or either ODM party, Waipa party, and other affiliate parties in Azimio. I want to say this. When you look at the real truth of the matter, I told you the other time that Raila Odinga is busy creating a scheme and a scenario that before the people, he might not look as a bad politician. Because the other time, every government has been always coming out to say that Raila Odinga has been blocking those so-called elected leaders from reaching the government so that they can have a cooperation work together to ensure that they're delivering to Kenyans. One thing that I have realized with Raila Odinga and other leaders in Azimio Moja and those principles, I have seen them leaders elected in different political parties in Azimio, not blocking these elected leaders when it comes to consultative meeting and reaching this government. So according to my opinion, I have seen many different arguments towards this issue William Ruto meeting member of parliament from, of course, Nyanza region. I've seen people like Jalamo, I've seen Elisha uh, from, of course, game constituency, and several member of parliament from Nyanza region. I want to say again something that is very critical. Let not one come out to cheat or lie to himself that William Ruto is taking member of parliament from Nyanza region or from ODM party or rather even from Azimio Lomoja. Whatever is there is that as elected leaders, Raila Odinga has been always um, not blocking these leaders so that he can paint a good picture of him before the people of Kenya that when we elected these people, Raila Odinga never came out to block these people reaching to government so that they can have a cooperation work. So as in the next election, when you are going to be judged, you should not claim and blame Raila Odinga that I never deliver because Raila Odinga blocked me from reaching the government. Whatever Raila Odinga has come out to say is that 
these counties, these elected leaders must have a cooperation work with the government of the day, which there is no problem. I've seen many people arguing, saying that now William Ruto is taking over. Nothing like that. It is just a county government and national government must have a cooperation work. Elected leaders must work together. Let politics or political circle divide them. Let this political circle not divide them uh, when it comes to development to the people. So in accordance to my opinion, I see a very smart tactic and a play and a game plan of Raila Odinga towards this government. Because in any case, you will come out to block them, then this government is ready to paint a bad picture of Raila Odinga. You will come out to say that, look, even in your region, you elected member of parliament, you elected senator, you elected women, right? You elected MCS and governors. They've come out to fight just for their stomachs, rather fighting for you, those who elected him. And that is why Raila Odinga is very keen on how he's handling these elected leaders. Those who are willing to attend their meetings, the rallies and barazas, I think it has come to at a point that now Raila Odinga has come out very clear, elaborate, to tell them and to encourage them, as long as you are having a cooperation work with this government, you're working together to ensure that whatever people elected you for, they are going to achieve, you must also attend our barazas and our meetings. It is not bad. It is not something that is not in accordance to the constitution. But the truth is, Raila Odinga is just playing a game. So when you look at the meeting, there is no big deal there. Because this is just a divide or it is just a strategy rule of Raila Moro Odinga. And I want to say something again. When you look at the State House meeting today, some people they have come out to say opposition men, opposition men, which according to me, I don't see opposition men because some of them are legitimately elected by ODM party. And by elected by ODM party, they know and they do understand that ODM party is still having wave in in Nyanza region. So for them to come out to ditch ODM or to ditch Azimu or even to ditch Raila Odinga in Nyanza region, this might be a big problem when it comes to their political career. But that is why you see some people, the other day when Raila Odinga was having a rally at Kamkunji Kibira, he came out and some others came out saying that there were some leaders that during the day they are in Azimu. During the night, they are in Kenya Kwanzaa. But as things are being formulated and the motive of Raila Murudinga and his strategy towards this member of parliament meeting William Ruto is not panicking at all. There is no panic. And no one should come and tell you that now William Ruto has taken all member of parliament from Nyanza. Remember, leaders from Nyanza, uh, of course, region, they are not as if the way you see them. Because all things that they talked about, some member of parliament has already called Raila Mordinga. And he, uh, those member of parliament has already told, tell, told Raila that this and this and this and this happened. So it is out of experience and strategy of Raila Mordinga to come out to distance himself from blocking these elected leaders from reaching the government of the day. It is just a pure tactic, a pure strategy towards the next general election. And that is why I'm telling you, you might see it that like Raila Murudinga is wasting his time having Kamukunji, Barazas, rallies, but you don't know this strategy plan is that next election 2027, and that is the direction they're going. They're planning for 2027. They are not planning to remove William Ruto in the office. The only thing that they're doing, they're trying to paint, paint a bad picture uh, of this government to the people. They are trying to emulate and have a motive of attracting the hustlers that are being offended, who are angry and hungry, and that is whatever they are doing. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts towards this member of parliament meeting William Ruto 
at status. Because according to me, I don't see any big deal. It is just a strategic plan for Raila or Mundo Dinka to send them, to tell them you must work with the government of the day. As you continue to formulate and have motive and plans to us 27, you must work with the government to ensure that our people are going to benefit. Ladies and gentlemen, drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. We are having a fundraising to this channel so that you can, we can buy a camera, a standard of light. If you are willing to donate to this channel, this is the number that you can donate to this channel the way I'm displaying on the bottom of the screen. Please consider uh, supporting, donating your resource, and I, I promise you I will not let you down. Those who have come out to donate their resource want to say thank you so much. May God bless you. Add more and more and more. Otherwise, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Till we meet on another video.